today we're here to review the Rogue Fitness loadable dumbbells, 15 pound and 10 pound versions. Are these dumbbells worth buying for your home gym or for your commercial gym? At Vintage, we looked into the loadable dumbbells to solve a few problems. First, most gyms have experienced this. A set of dumbbells takes up a ton of space Either they're taking up a lot of room on the floor or you have to invest extra money in shelving. Next is what weights to buy. Uh, 50s, 35s, 20s are common weights since those pop up in CrossFit competitions, but a lot of athletes like 25s, 30s, and your competitors are probably gonna want some of the heavier weights uh, above 50s. Those dumbbells can be expensive to invest in. They rarely get used at the lighter or heavier loads, but there is benefit to having some of those extra weights available. So bring in the loadable dumbbells. First, we're gonna talk about size and loadability of these dumbbells. You'll notice the 15s are especially large. Here they are compared to a regular 50 pound dumbbell. They are significantly longer than the 50s. The 10 pound dumbbells are roughly the size of a 35, slightly smaller than the 50, so that's gonna be a length that you're much more comfortable um, using for a variety of movements. In order to take advantage of the dumbbells, you're gonna need smaller diameter plates. We already have a variety of 10, ones, two and a halfs, and fives. But if you don't have a large selection of these at your gym or home gym, uh, that may force you to buy a lot of extra equipment just to be able to use those dumbbells. You also need to consider your collars. You're gonna need some OSO style or smaller diameter collars because the typical uh, clamp style collar or spring collar is gonna stick out past the end of the dumbbell. So you're gonna be really uncomfortable if you're setting those down on the floor. So you're gonna have to invest rather than $4 a clamp like the springs into some more expensive $20 uh, collars to use the dumbbells. How heavy can you load up the dumbbells? We have 50 pounds total on the 10 pound dumbbell and you can see with the collars, we're pretty much right at the end. Maybe we could pop on another uh, two and a half or five pound metal plate but that's gonna be right around the capacity, around 50 or what's that put us at? 60 total pounds. We have a lot more room to work with on the 15 pound dumbbell, so we'll get that one loaded as heavy as we can in a minute. And here is the 15 pound dumbbell loaded to 110 pounds total. Again, you could probably squeeze one more two and a half or one more five, so the max weight on those using these plates is gonna be around 110 to 120 total pounds. Um, if you're trying to do farmer's carries, you could always use like 25 pound plates or, or larger diameter plates as needed. And of course that'll increase the max capacity, but using these smaller diameter plates for overhead movements, um, this is about as heavy as you can get. First, they feel fantastic. They feel like a rogue barbell. The knurling is great. You don't have to chalk as much. You get a strong grip on them and they spin just like a barbell. Um, on the overhead lifts or um, clean and jerks and snatches that we do frequently here in CrossFit, you can actually turn over and drop under the dumbbell versus having it feel more like a uh, muscle snatch or a muscle clean or like a curl into a press, which you'll see uh, happening often, especially with beginners, since that uh, dumbbell doesn't rotate. So you can move a little more efficiently with these dumbbells. So holding on, I like using these smaller 10 pound dumbbells for a lot of the um, shoulder or upper body work. So say I'm doing like a um, lateral dumbbell raise, curls, or strict shoulder presses, you're gonna wanna use these smaller dumbbells because if I was using the 15s, I'd be on the verge of like smashing my ears or smashing my head on some of these movements. So, you get a lot of variety of what you can do with these dumbbells. But anytime you're going overhead, the versatility of those tens is gonna be a little nicer. Some of the CrossFit movements we'll see, like a dumbbell snatch. I always feel like I'm going to 
hit those ends of the collars on my head somewhere, but that's never happened. So it might be um, an unrealistic concern, but snatches feel great. Switching hands feels great. Clean and jerks are a little more awkward because those collars um, or the end of the dumbbell is gonna be smashing onto your shoulder. Right there. So if I was to do that with a heavier 15 pound load up to 55, Again, I'm able to do those snatches, dropping under the dumbbell. Now I have a little more surface area with the multiple plates to come down to the shoulder. Right there. The collars hold it really securely on the dumbbell. Um, what else is there? There's dumbbell deadlifts. Those can also feel a little bit awkward. If you're hanging the front side down, you may start hitting the end of the collar or the plates. But if you're touching the plates to the ground, feel great. Also, dumbbell bench press. This is a little bit of an issue also with these loadable dumbbells. I'll usually put these regular dumbbells on my thighs before I lay down to get ready. That position is a lot more uncomfortable and unnatural using these dumbbells. You can see how they're kind of resting awkwardly. You don't want to have them here. You don't want that collar digging into your thigh. So you have to angle them a little bit to find a spot where you can get them up. Once they're there, it feels fine once you're laying down. but something else you have to think about and keep uh, paying attention to. So, do we recommend using them? They feel great, they look great, I think they're a great addition to the gym. If you're buying for a home gym and you don't want all the clutter of having you know, a set of 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, that wide variety to get you through a bunch of uh, different workouts, definitely grab one pair, Invest in the collars, since you'll be using those with the barbell. Um, and as long as you're okay spending that extra money getting a bunch of tens, fives, two and a halves, you're gonna have a lot of versatility. Here in the gym, we run into issues with people in the workouts. We only have a few pairs of like 25s or 40s. Um, so those dumbbells always go pretty quickly on workouts. Always try to remind people we have the loadable dumbbells but bad news, they almost never get used. It takes so much more work to get out a dumbbell, collars, and two or maybe even three pairs of plates during a class, almost never happens. People are much more commonly just gonna grab either a little bit lighter or a little bit heavier than they ideally wanna use with the single dumbbell. So if you're buying them for a gym setting, I don't think they're really worth it. I don't think they're going to get that much use. If you have competitors who are going to be looking to do some movements with like, um, you know, 80, 90, 100 pound dumbbell snatches, um, it sucks spending two bucks or yeah, two bucks per pound on some heavy dumbbells and having them sit there and get used maybe once every few months. So in a situation like that, maybe worth it to get the dumbbells or if you have a uh, some kind of strength progression, you know, military presses at percentages, dumbbell bench press at percentages, then it's gonna be helpful to be able to make those smaller increments with the one pound plates rather than two and a half or fives. So take all that into consideration when you're making a decision about buying the Rogue loadable dumbbells. Hope this is helpful. Feel free to um, ask your questions down in the comments. Thank you.